Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vance Logic, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Graces F: The Future Arc. It's nothing but lint. It's nothing but holes. Nothing but holes, man. Is it, you say holes or holes? I can't tell. I don't know. Eh. May as well be know. a yeah, that, that, that reminds me. We're in a gigantic hole. Yep. <laughs> the entire place is surrounded by a giant hole. What is keeping the thing up anyway? A mountain. <laughs> God damn it. A mountain of hatred. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I see you in forever. Just when I thought it was safe to relax. It looks like you brought the whole gang with you. Listen, Fourier, we need your help. Oh, <laughs> we need you for about five seconds, and we're going to leave you alone again. When monsters change, <laughs> it's usually due to a mutation triggered by their environment. Sorry, but could you explain? I'm kind of retarded. Can you explain? <laughs> Pretty much. much. <laughs> you know, that, you know, that kind of sums up this entire game. Sorry, could you, re could you explain that again, please? <laughs> for example, if animals from a warm climate are transported to a colder one, many of them will perish. However... The strong ones will adapt and evolve in order to survive. So is that what's happening here? Yes. I would assume the monsters are evolving to better meet the threat posed by humans. So you think we're helping to make the monsters stronger? That's what I just said, isn't it? Of course, it's just a hypothesis. Hmm. But doesn't it usually take forever for things to evolve? Normally, yes. Evolution is a slow process that takes several generations to unfold. But we have numerous examples of sudden mutations in monsters, especially those that live near the Valcanus. In other words, outside interference greatly increases the odds of rapid mutation. I would theorize that an unknown being is affecting them, perhaps something similar to Lambda or Lestalia. Do you think Lambda himself might be responsible? Absolutely not. Well, what a deadpan axe expression when he says that. It's like, he definitely sure. did not cause all the monsters spawning up in the first place. And suddenly we turn, and suddenly we went to a silent movie. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just going into Asbel's mind, which suspiciously enough looks like Emil's mind when he fought it's his other shit. It's just shack. a standard. This is this what is inside my, this my is mind my personal looks like, man. Space. You know, I can, you know, I kind of, I kind of wish for um, Asbel to open his eyes and just sees Patrick on the swing. <laughs> How can you be so certain? Do you doubt my powers? It's not that. I made a decision to exist together with you, so of course I'm going to trust you. Did you say... Trust? You lent me your power, because you were trying to help. Isn't that right? Even if true, I would do so only because you are my host vessel. Though I exist inside you, do not be so arrogant as to think you can control me. I'm not trying to control you. You helped us back there. You saved our lives. I haven't thanked you yet, so thanks. This is nonsense. He opens his eyes and one of his blood, and one of them he broke a blood vessel and one's right now. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be awesome! <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, "Oh, Asma, oh, Asma, what the fuck just happened?" Uh, what are you talking about?
and then God said, and you all God? suck. I wanted to talk to you because Folger's been acting kind of wonky. I didn't even notice until Poisson and the Overseer brought it up. But ever since, me and all the other Amarcians have been studying it. About two months ago, we found Elith gushing from a point on the surface. Therefore, Fodra's supposedly non-functional core is showing signs of activity. If Fodra's core is in fact the source of all life, then... Yes, it's conceivable that the core might be promoting evolution in the monsters. Is my sister the best or what? Okay, guys, I gotta take the shuttle and zip off to Fodra. Do you really think you'll learn something new up there? Well, I'm sure not learning anything standing around here. Let's all stand around and look at each other. At the very least, the president deserves to know. But that means a side trip to Strata. <laughs> like anyone cares about Strata. Hubert's like, I care. Nobody cares, Hubert. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not looking forward to it. Is something wrong, Hubert? D no, it's nothing. How about we go with you? It'll be a lot easier than going alone. All right. But please try not to cause any trouble. A guilty conscience. Right. But okay, before that, I'm just going to check the title Pascal just got. Oh, nice. I think this is where she gets Excel. There it is. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yay! Gaming rage. Excel's useful again. <laughs> I, call, I call this Excel gaming rage. Ray! <laughs> that would be my Excel age. Rage quit! Rage quit! <laughs> <laughs> A guilty conscience. Yeah, I'm sure. Aw, you look down, little bro. What's wrong? Who, me? No, nothing's wrong. Leave me alone. Geez, fine. Sorry. No need to be so cold. Gosh. You are being mean to Pascal, Hubert. No, I'm... Wait. Am I? But that's how I've always acted. You never look her in the eyes. Hmm? Sophie? You are very perceptive. It's just... Looking at her like that is... Difficult. It's hard for me to explain. I don't think I can meet her gaze at this particular moment. Do you have a guilty conscience? Huh? You've been talking to the captain, haven't you? When a man has a guilty conscience, he can't look a woman in the eye, right? Hmm, perhaps not. Not that I feel particularly guilty about anything, mind you. I hate to admit it, but sometimes even I don't understand what's wrong with me. You're horny, <laughs> shut up. Shut up, Hubert. High five. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sophie's like Sophie's like ET phone home. Oh wait, wrong name. <laughs> oh man, if you guys aren't gonna guess, this is gonna really consist of nothing but cutscenes. Who cares? Eh. Can I just turn? Nobody off cares the about video? you. Go away. Go away. I don't like you. <laughs> Go away, Sharia. You all right? If you have something to say, you shouldn't keep it inside. Pascal, I... I want to be human. But you're already plenty human. Your body's just a little different is all. No, it's more than that. I'm not like you at all. 
Asbel, Sharia, Hubert, Richard, Pascal, Captain Malik, you're all going to die someday. But not me. If I were a human, you couldn't leave me behind when you died. Help me, Asbel. How do I become human? Well... I see. It's impossible, isn't it? I do kind of just like... She's like, it's impossible, is it? Well, if I told you it were possible, you'd call me a liar anyway, so... Sh what the I ain't fuck? calling you a truther. <laughs> <laughs> Even capable of tears. No matter how sad I get, I can't even cry like you. I just. I just want to be the same as you. I wish that Asbel was my father. Asbel's trying to show emotion. He's really straining himself right there. <laughs> Do not look. Do not look sad. Asbel, I'm... I'm not sure it's a good idea to bring her with us. It's okay. I'll stay behind, here, with Sophie. I just don't think she should travel until she's feeling a little better. I'll stay here, too. I'm totally good at cheering people up. And you, Asbel? It might help to come along and clear your head for a bit. All right. I'll go to Strata. Well, it looks like it's just the men this time. Sausage fest. Fuck. Sharia. There's Take four girls. Sophie, okay? <laughs> no, it's there. No, it's three. There's three guys and an Asbel. And, so, and Asbel's like, well, fuck. There goes my boner. <laughs> it's like now I'm just surrounded by guys, and suddenly my boner's coming back. Oh, you sick! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh like man, just the like reaction. Kind of like that castaway episode of Family Guy. It's like, all right, man. all right, guys, listen. As men, we all have needs. Oh Everybody yeah, it's like we're gonna have to have an orgy. It's like so. uh Anybody horny? <laughs> They're just laying on each other. It's like anybody feeling anything yet? <laughs> Jules, aw. God damn it. It's like, oh, at least no one's watching this, and then a freaking cruise liner passes by. <laughs> oh, you should, get the, you should get the skit there. I don't care about that damn skit. This okay. one coming up, though, uh, it's gonna be, eh. I think there's one coming up, if I remember correctly. It might yeah. be It might be later, though. You know, you could have just cut ahead. You didn't have to show yourself walking all the way up there. <laughs> I like it to walk. Catching up with Oswells. It's been half a year since I visited Strata. <laughs> and not a damn thing changed. <laughs> Seriously, nothing has changed. I'll make sure to visit your family and introduce myself. As your brother. You don't need to do that. Sure I do. Is everyone doing well? Oh, the same as always, I suppose. My father is a bit meeker from all his political struggles, and Raymond is off traveling the world. Oh, so is Raymond doing the same sorts of things that you are? I wouldn't say that, but he's actually... well, he's following Sharia. Following Sharia? What do you mean? Well, I suppose it's a little more complicated than that. Probably. He raises money to support Sharia's relief organization, and sometimes he visits their operations sites as an inspector. I can't believe that! He's a... he's a... he's a great guy to care so much! Asbel, you don't? I'm just going to let this go. You're still thinking about the butt, aren't you? Yes, yes, I God am. dang it. <laughs> what, do <you> think that, <laughs> what do you think that was about? Pumpkins? Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> what was that for? <laughs> I do don't know. <laughs> do the funky monkey. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what, did your controller wig out or something? Yeah, I was just all like, I like I'm how bored. <laughs> I like how they, I like how Malik's just going down. It's like everybody's just ignoring my my sword made of fire, right? Okay, good. <laughs> like Malik, isn't your back on fire? No. Starting to get out of hand. I couldn't do anything for her. I didn't know what to say. Few people would. It's a difficult problem with no one simple solution. Right now, you need to attend to business. You can make time for Sophie later. You're right. Of course. So, Hubert, will we see the president soon? Um, Hubert? Oh, uh, yes, of course. Worried about the president's daughter, are you? Captain! Wait, what? It's nothing, it's just a little marriage proposal. I never thought I'd hear the words Hubert and marriage in the same conversation. You're one to talk. Mother had plenty to say about you and her letters, you know. Don't you two have anything better to do than discuss my personal life? Don't look at me. Your marriage is all she can think about anymore. It is a sign of great trust for the president to offer you his daughter's hand. I know, and that's what makes it so awkward. If you hadn't sent that request for aid, I don't know what I'd be doing now. If you're this worried, Hubert, maybe we shouldn't go on. I'm not worried, it's just... I don't know how to approach the president. Because I have no intention... Of then you just the say no, you dumb the fuck. Is reasonable. <laughs> him man to man. I'm sure he'll understand. Man, that's easy for you to say. He's a... He's a Democrat. <laughs> what does me being a Democrat have to do with anything? <laughs> I don't know, filial petty, whatever the fuck that. I can't even name read was. what it says. Excel for Hubert for some fucking reason. Because why not? Is it? Do you even use half of these? He Excels? lost the lottery. <laughs> filial piety. Whatever. So, how is your foster father doing these days, Hubert? I don't want to well, talk about it. I lost the lottery. Quite a bit of time moping around the house. He watches he nothing but porn. It's <laughs> why do you think I left? His plan to take over Lant. You can imagine the repercussions he had to face as a direct result. I won't lie, those were tough times. But now my father and the president seem to be getting along far better than they were before. So, all the talk about you marrying the president's daughter stems from that? Hmm. Yes, that may be the case. Regardless, treasure the time you have left with your father. You don't know how long his health will hold, and I'm sure he still has things to teach you. There isn't much I care to hear from that particular father. The more I see of men like you, the less I want a son of my own. Does that mean you want a daughter, Captain Malik? Well, I suppose I wouldn't mind an adorable little girl. Adorable, sure. Until she grows up and calls you a pig, and tells you to stay out of her life forever. Hubert, does it bring you joy to crush my dreams? Oh, please, Captain. I'm only being realistic. Whether he's right or not, I do have things to report. I suppose a quick family visit wouldn't hurt. Malik's looking at him, looking at him like, I took on all of Mexico. You want to? You really want to talk to me like that? <laughs> <laughs> also, what you know, Hubert mentioned at the end of that skit, uh, if you do go to his house uh, here in uh, whatever this town is, I forgot, isn't it Yulaberte? Whatever this town is, go look for his house, and then you'll trigger a cutscene. Wait, what was the name? What was, the name, uh, what was the name of this town again? Yulaberte, I think. It's a home of King Paco. Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Hubert, Lord Asbel. My goodness, King Richard. What's going on? Did something happen? We've received word that the Valcanus is under attack. Damn! 
I didn't think the monsters would get here so quickly. Do you know something? We can explain everything later. Right now, we need your permission to attack these creatures. King Richard, I couldn't possibly ask that of you. Please, I insist. My kingdom owes a great debt to the courage of Strata. I would do anything in my power to help you. Additionally, sir, I fear our soldiers will be no match for these monsters. However, we have recently acquired the power to combat them. Very well. If things are as you say, I will leave these beasts in your capable hands. Capable, my ass! How's Castlevania going, Richard? Thank you, Mr. President. Shut up. We won't disappoint you. <laughs> it's like, I had enough problems with one Belmont, I don't need another. You know how long and it I took me to get out of that damn eclipse? <laughs> also, I think now we got Richard his XL title. Oh, yeah. Eradicate. <laughs> Eradication Commander. Dark Metamorphosis. <laughs> that is the laziest that's title I've ever heard. His Excel mode is turning into Soma. <laughs> oh, God. He is it. turning into Soma. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I told <God> you. <laughs> also, I think I try looking around here and there because I do trigger that one cutscene with uh, involving Hubert's family. Or adopted family, anyway. Daddy, why are you such a tool? Shut up and eat your <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> I'm about to use this tool upside your head. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was uh, somewhere around. He yep, over here. Hey, oh. Oswell Manor. So once, Oswell. Every every house looks the same in this damn town. Seriously. <laughs> Every house looks the goddamn same on this goddamn planet. Welcome back, Hubert. <laughs> More things are missing. We have obstacles, but none that cannot be overcome. Good, good. But now we have another matter to discuss. Your glasses, they make you look stupid. They make you look like me. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> political machine. The president and I had our differences, yes, but that's all behind us now. I am counting on you, Hubert. Do not fail me. He's talking about marriage, isn't he? I fear he will be disappointed. I have no interest in marrying the President's daughter. Then you'd best refuse him quickly. I don't get it, Hubert. Why are you so against the idea? I'm sure he has a reason. In situations such as these, you must be both clear and firm. To do anything else would invite disaster. I am aware of that, Captain. It's just... I understand. It must be hard to have a true love who is so... Well, you know. You know, space witted. Damn it, Hubert. About? Oh, come now. There's no point in denying it. It's pretty fucking obvious the way the game's oh, no. treating you. God, even... What? Even the Richard knows. That's just right. sad. Don't worry about it, Asbel. But if you want to refuse... When to even Richard, Richard knows you're in love with someone, you're doing something wrong. Hubert is still young. No, well, Asbel hasn't figured it out. He's not ready for the well, that's Asbel. Nobody gives a shit. Yes, but married life no, but if Asbel has, it hasn't figured it out yet, he's still kind of in the clear. For me. What if you said you didn't want to marry until your military position was more secure? I'm already a lieutenant. Bah, titles are meaningless. If I wished it, I could have thousands of troops at my command. For I am the great Usopp! Alright, fine. Then tell him ladies at every port of call have fallen for what? good looks. What? <laughs> 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 what the hell, Malik? <laughs> Not lose the respect of the people. I'm starting to think you don't want to avoid this marriage at all. Well, not with these awful ideas, I don't. Oh, this is madness. Just tell him you're in love with someone else already. And if people ask who it is? Then tell them her name. Oh, yes, a splendid idea. And who would honestly believe I carried a torch for her? I think you just admitted it. Now see here! 
Holy crap! <laughs> you're just now what? Right. Like, <laughs> yep, you're fucked, Hubert. Asbel finally figured it out. Hubert's in love with. Enough. We are done talking about this. Now then. I have no plans to marry the president's daughter. If she'd even have you. After all, I have little interest in the political ambitions of my father. If I am to support this country in the future, I must maintain my connection to the common people. Just as... Just as I know she will. Check this out. We got Hubert his Legion Commander title. Legion! What does that mean? Well, it not it only we got him his no, Excel title, Hubert's we also got Hubert. him his uh, Excel uh, Mystic Art. I was gonna say, I was gonna say that may, that means uh, Hubert is now Lex Luthor. <laughs> no, now he can summon. Do. Now he can con now he can command a giant ball of corpses that shoots laser beams. <laughs> Form of Cripple Tron. Fuck you, Legion. Why are you in every no, castle? Legion of Doom. I would say, no, he's, he's 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 become the embodiment of the Legion of Doom, and he wants to assassinate Jesus using the lake as a base. <laughs> and ha! suddenly, you what? You fell life. <laughs> that guy's dead. That guy's probably dead. They're all we're about all to dead die. Too. Damn, they just keep God, the models it's like in they're this from game the, ugly. It's like they're from Arkham Asylum or something. Come on, let's lend a hand. Got those soldier and models. by lend a hand, hand I mean do all the work. <laughs> they're all Joker Titans. <laughs> oh shit. Seriously though, those character models for those soldiers look what, like ass. They're anything but. <laughs> they're, they're supposed to be cackling golems. They're anything but cackling. Well, they can start. A, I think what it means is that they could set up a Nova barrier like that. Oh. Uh, that's not cackling at all. <laughs> that's still not. I'm sorry. That's still not cackling. Eh. This name. This name. The naming fails. Not so many Maybe it's a translation fail. <laughs> Eh, no, they just ran out of names. They were just like, yeah, alright, what are we gonna names. call this? It looks like they are every other fucking golem. Oh, look, su surprise, surprise, Asbel's dying. <laughs> yeah, without any of the healers around. <laughs> alright, I'm not doing it anymore. The closest thing we have to a healer right now is Hubert, so yeah. You guys are at Sausage Fest. You're uninvited. You could use an apple gel. <laughs> nah. Don't you oh really? I'm sure you won't. Because <laughs> <laughs> you almost kind of died, you freaking hypocrite. <laughs> yeah, Spell, you were just comprised of fail, you aren't you? <laughs> you were just comprised of fail. God damn it! Hold this point at all costs. Yes, sir. Derp. A girl in every port. Uh, I can we see where this is going. We need to do about the monsters in these ruins as expediently as possible. Doing so will earn you further accolades and raise your stock. Soon the president will beg to have you as his son-in-law. Please, that's enough. It is not the sort of decision one should be coerced into making. He's right. But it's a truth of marriage. The higher you rise, the less your own opinions matter. You too, Richard? Oh, yes. An endless stream of Windor nobility keeps pestering me about their eligible daughters. I envy your array of options, Your Majesty. Do you now? I've heard talk that you have a beautiful girl waiting at every port in the land. Yeah, it's rough. Girls keep telling themselves and everyone else that they're my lover. Interesting. Might you have done something to give them that impression? Not that I can remember. Come on, guys. This is crazy. I don't want to select a wife like I'm shopping from a. No one was talking. You already did. You already did. What the hell? 